A lot of people came to us and said, how come you come from these small towns and how come you can build a company which makes electronics products? You can't do it in India. India is full of corruption, India is full of red tape. And we see a tube light, it says Philips. We take a Walkman, it says Sony on it. Then we switch on the TV, it says Samsung. Can't we make one product in India which says our name? Why are we not seeing anything here? This dream started chasing us. The money, the salary, that was not enough. iPhone was launched, cameras were becoming popular, and we slowly realized this camera is going to play a vital role in the whole electronics industry. We made the world's first USB UVC cameras. And when we did that, each one of you, each one of us have a dream. We have a dream about life, but the world around us always says that the, this dream is not possible. It always puts so many roadblocks in front of us. How do you break it? How do I make this dream a reality? Hi, I am Maharajan Virabahu. I am one of the co-founders of Econ Systems. Right from the olden days, when there were black and white photographs, you captured them, put them in an album. But cameras are more than that. Cameras are sensors, and a lot of machines are able to see the world because of these cameras. Even Chandrayaan, which was launched and which landed successfully a few days back, had a camera in it and it looked into the lunar surface before it landed successfully. So these cameras are enabling a lot of these machines to see and understand the world. And Econ Systems, our company, makes these cameras. Now, how did a dream and how we made that into a reality? I'm going to be talking about four things. You can say it as 4D. The first thing is dream. I and one of my other co-founders, and we were in electronics engineering in our college, and we were sitting in our dorm room, and we look up and we see a tube light. It says Philips on it. Philips is a company from Netherlands. And we take a Walkman from the side. It says Sony on it. Sony recalls Japan. Then we switch on the TV. It says Samsung or LG. Again, a company from Korea. And Hari used to ask me, hey Maha, can't we make one product in India which says our name? Do you find an electronic product which says our name? Why are we not seeing anything here? We are a big country. We have so many engineers here. And so many of them are passing out. Why are we not making products, world-class products, where people all over the world buy from us? And this became a big dream for us. And slowly we figured that it would be better if we create our own company. This dream part is very important because that is gives you the passion. And passion makes you do things which you normally won't do. We were just dreaming about making a company which makes electronic products, but we didn't know how to do it. But if you have the passion, it will make you do it. Now that leads me to my second D. Only if you dream, it's not enough. If you dream, you have to dare. You have to have that courage in you so that you can step up and take action. And that's what happened to us. As soon as we finished college, we joined some companies locally and we started working on this electronics. One year, two year, no. This dream started chasing us. The money, the salary, that was not enough. We wanted to create a company, we wanted to make electronic products, and we wanted to put a Made in India stamp and ship it all over the world. This was what was running in our mind. So we dared and we thought, let us take the step, let us resign our jobs and start a company. The moment we did this, a lot of people came to us and said, now, do you have a big background? We are from middle class families. How come you come from these small towns and how come you can build a company which makes electronics products? There are so many giants here. And the next question they ask is, do you have a godfather? Is somebody going to fund you? Do you have the money to do it? Not really, we don't have the big money. We work for a couple of years, so we have some savings. Then why are you taking a risk? Why don't you just go to the US? Why don't you make your own money? Why are you trying to make, take this risk? Uh, no, I think we want to do it. That's what we said. The next problem they put is, okay, even if you want to do it, why don't you go to US and do it? You can't do it in India. India is full of corruption, India is full of red tape. The year I'm talking is about 2002, 2003. But this dream and passion made us make a decision that we are not going to stop here and we are going to make this company. And we jumped it and started the company in 2003. The third D which I want to talk about is differentiation. The moment we started the company, we didn't know what to do. We didn't have big experience running a business, right? And we realized that if I need to be noted in the market, I have to do something different. And that is when we noticed in 2006 and 7, iPhone was launched, cameras were becoming popular, and we slowly realized this camera is going to play a vital role in the whole electronics industry. And these cameras were becoming very cost effective. 
So why can't these cameras be used in a lot of machines? And we anticipated this would happen. And we spent a lot of our energy trying to become an expert in this camera area. And when we did that, we made the world's first USB UVC cameras. Make a product where people in com will come in search of you because you will add value. And the fourth D is do it. You can have hundreds of plans. How do I differentiate? What will I do research on? But the toughest part for me is execution. How you put things in place and do it. And I will tell you, trust me, execution is boring. Sachin Tendulkar comes and he flashes his, his bat and you see a beautiful cover drive. And you see Kohli hitting the ball for a six. All that is wonderful, right? Do you know how much hours they practice before playing that beautiful exquisite shot? Days and days and months and months of practice. And all that practice and all that time at the gym is boring. But to play that perfect shot, you need that practice. Likewise, in our company, when we started this, there were many things which were boring and which we had to repeatedly do. If I am doing an R&D on a camera, it takes a year for us to bring that into reality. And sometimes that is boring. If you're working on something, you have to just do it. Go ahead and finish it. And today, we are in a junction where things are falling in place. I'm shipping more than 300,000 cameras to all over the world. And electronics industry as such is picking up really, really well in India. And I think India is poised for a brilliant growth in this whole electronics industry. And what we need for that is good innovation from engineers. We need a lot of companies coming in and investing their energies in building these brilliant products. And why are we at this place? Why am I saying that this is the best time to do it. Number one, we have the largest youth population and this largest youth population has the best engineering education. The second thing is, there is a big startup ecosystem which is building in India where there is a lot of entrepreneurship which is available. We did not see this 20 years back, but now I'm seeing a lot more entrepreneurs and a lot more entrepreneurs who are doing electronics as well. And there's a lot of investment coming into this. And above all, how does a country see itself? Currently, India sees itself and it wants to become an electronics superpower. It wants to develop its electronics industry. And that is vivid in, from the government, from the business side, from entrepreneurs and from every angle that I'm seeing. So that's where we are in. And I would say, if you can dream, dare, differentiate and do it, then you can build your own electronics company here not only an electronics company, any company for that matter.